do this problem. You're given segment AB. We're given the points A and B, 0, 0, and 5, 0. And obviously, then the length of AB has to be 5. And we're told that we want to find the third point of a triangle so that AC is 3 and BC is 4. By the way, that's a 3, 4, 5 right triangle. So this is a right angle. But that's uh, neither here nor there. Question is, how do you find out the location of point C? One way to do it is to think of if C is three units from A, then C has to reside on this green circle somewhere. So if we could get the equation of that circle, and C also has to reside on this blue circle, a circle centered at B with a radius of four, if we could find the points of intersection of these two circles, then we would have the two places where C has to reside. So the equation of the, the green circle is uh, center at the origin. So X squared plus Y squared equals the radius squared. That equals 9. And the equation of the second circle, x minus 5, the quantity squared, plus y squared has to equal 16. Now, how do you solve that system? Well, probably the easiest thing to do is to solve this first equation for y squared y squared equals 9 minus x squared. And substitute that into the other equation and solve for x. <clears throat> I think you'll find out that you get x equals uh, 1.8, if I remember correctly. Let me share my screen and show you where I got Uh, this graph. Here's the point zero, zero. B is five, zero. X sub one, Y sub one is actually a moving point. But I graph the equations of the two circles. And if I put C on uh, the current X sub one value, uh, it looks like that, that's where we want to be. Uh, there's the two equations. We could uh, end up going back and solving this. Uh, x squared minus 10x plus 25 plus 9 minus x squared. equals 16. The x squareds cancel out. I've got minus 10x plus 34 equals 16. Ten x equals 28 or 18. So x equals 1.8. And you could substitute that back in for x, solve for y. And you're going to, of course, get two answers, two different y values. Okay, there you go.